Welcome back. As we continue our special coverage of the extreme cold that we are dealing with right now, the temperature in Port Washington minus four. And I thought it was interesting when Caitlin mentioned you know, when minus 20 wind chill doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> you <laughs> know it's getting bad. Yeah. Minus, minus 20. Yeah, 20 below zero is nothing compared to where we'll be tonight. 45 degrees below zero. Some spots mm -hmm. will reach that. Not far away, 50 below or, or more. I just, just looking at some of the comments on, on Facebook. You guys, uh, Linda Bussey says, okay, Scott, I surrender. Please bring on spring. All right. Uh, Lori Siskwit says, okay, I give up. Trying to keep warm, perhaps we should just all hibernate until spring arrives. And Linda Folgers, you guys, mm -hmm. make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Linda. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Uh, make it stop. Unfortunately, it's, we've got no control over it, and it's just going to get worse before it gets better. So here are your advisories right now in effect. It is a wind chill advisory through 9 o'clock tonight for all of southeast Wisconsin. Our entire viewing area going to have those dangerous wind chills uh, dropping to about 30 below zero. Then we go overnight from 9 o'clock tonight through noon tomorrow. I think the worst of this latest cold snap, wind chills diving to about 45 below, especially inland locations as our temperatures drop to near 20 degrees below zero. Here's a live look from our Beautiful downtown tower cam number two looking to the north northwest and we can see some starlight out there this morning. Well, at least if you're not experiencing some blowing and drifting snow, there have been a lot of occurrences inland locations where that wind has whipped and picked up the snow, blown it around, reduced visibilities, created a hazard out on the road. So be aware of that in your weather headlines today. Leading it off, the bitter blast, a frigid fall in temperatures all day long and a ton of sun is on the way though. Outside right now, our readings going in the wrong direction. We are essentially at the highs of the day, and we're at one below in Milwaukee. Now six below for you fine folks waking up with us in Waukesha, five below in Fondy, and also in Beaver Dam. Our wind chill there, 18 below zero, 27 degrees below right now. The wind chill in Fondy, 30 below in Watertown, and 20 below in Milwaukee. That cold air continuing to seep southward right now, 23 degrees below zero is the air temperature in International Falls, Minnesota. Wind chills much, much lower than that. Satellite and radar combination showing the system that brought us that light fluffy snow Saturday night into Sunday pulling well off to our east behind it clearing skies with high pressure and it's frankly the difference between that low pressure and the high pressure that's producing these very strong winds. We call it the pressure gradient. That's what's going to continue to kick up the winds to near 30 miles an hour. Uh, gusty during the day. So your storm team forecast for today. We're basically at the high of the day. One below zero dropping through the day. Bitter cold, windy, mostly sunny and be again aware of some of that uh, risk of blowing and drifting snow, especially in rural locations. Tonight we dive to 20 below a temperature of 20 below wind chills to 45 below tomorrow. Our high temperature only two below zero. Again, wind chills starting at 40 to 45 degrees below zero in the morning. A sunny to partly cloudy skies and tomorrow night down to a frigid nine below zero. Your storm team 10 day outlook showing very little in the way of relief. We will crack 20. It looks like on Thursday with some light snow and then 20s into the weekend. But Caitlin, that's about the best we do. All right. Thanks, Scott. And good